Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This tape is designed to demonstrate to you proper instrument grasps, fulcrum positions, and the difference between exploring and working strokes of instruments. I also want to demonstrate to you the significance of variations in angulation of scalars on the tooth surface. First, let me demonstrate to you the instrument grasp used for scalars. The basic grasp is a pin grasp. Taking the uh, scaler, placing it in the mouth, pin grasp is used in all areas. Now many times I have seen pin grasp used like this. A pin grasp such as this is uncomfortable for the operator and will quickly tire the operator's hand. When using instruments in the mouth, a fulcrum finger is always used. And generally that fulcrum finger is the fourth finger of the right hand in right-handed individuals. Let me demonstrate various fulcrum positions to you. The fulcrum finger may be placed on a finger which is used for cheek retraction, such as this. When scaling, the fulcrum finger is placed on this finger, and scaling done in this manner. In many areas of the mouth, the fulcrum finger is moved to the occlusal or incisal edge of the teeth. And in some places, you will find that it is more convenient to place the fulcrum finger on the labial or buccal tissues. Turn your head just a little bit this way. Now, let me demonstrate the use of the exploring stroke. The exploring stroke is used with both explorers and scalers. The most sensitive way to explore a tooth is with the finest tipped instrument. Exploring stroke, uh, let me demonstrate to you again on my thumb. It's a gentle but firm grasp on the explorer and move the explorer back and forth like so. As we've discussed before, you want to keep the tip end of the scaler or in the explorer next to the surface of the tooth. Now let me go to the mouth and demonstrate the same motion. Remember again that the tip of the explorer has to be next to the surface of the tooth and that we're moving the explorer subgingivally to the base of the sulcus. Now sometimes there's confusion between using an exploring stroke with an explorer an exploring stroke with a scaler. An exploring stroke with a scaler is used to make sure that the uh, scaler enters the pocket and extends to the base of the sulcus. When uh, the exploring stroke is used in the mouth, the instrument is placed like so. When uh, using the exploring stroke with a scaler, there is slightly more finger used than when using the scaler for in the working stroke. Now let me demonstrate to you the difference between the exploring and the working stroke. When using the exploring stroke, the scaler is inserted like so. When the working stroke is to be used, the scaler must be turned so that the face of the instrument is more at a 90 degree angle to the surface of the tooth. Now, when the piece of calculus is engaged, then there is a unity of motion between the hand and the wrist, 
with very little finger movement in the whole stroke. The reason that finger movement such as this is avoided is because a stroke such as that tends to tire the fingers very rapidly. The uh, short firm stroke is used to remove calculus, being sure to dislodge the entire deposit rather than planing over the surface of it. Instrument grasps and fulcrum positions are designed to make working in the mouth easy for you. You will be given an opportunity in the clinic situation to work with various instrument grasps, fulcrum positions, and to practice working and exploring strokes. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu license.